bibliomancy. I find this one very interesting. Um, a form of divination using books where a book, like a sacred text of some sort, is opened to a random page and the first passage seen is interpreted as the answer to a question. I can't even tell you how many times I did that with the Bible when I was growing up. I'm like, God, I knew the word. You know, I'm just like, let it fall open and just read the first thing. And you trust, like I grew up trusting that that was the thing that I needed to hear that day. And I really see this as like absolutely no different than an oracle card. Dream interpretation, um, analyzing dreams to uncover messages from the subconscious mind or spiritual insights, symbols, themes, and emotions. Um, so we definitely see this in the Bible. Um, Daniel interpreting dreams in the book of Daniel uh, 2 and 4, and Joseph interpreting dreams, especially in Genesis 41. Those are some really big examples. Automatic writing. Have you heard of this one? Automatic writing involves a person writing words or messages without consciously controlling the writing process. So typically you get into like a meditative or very relaxed or even trance-like state, and then you just start writing in, in a journal. Um, and basically some people feel that their hand is moving on its own without any conscious effort. Some people don't necessarily feel that way, but they just feel like the message that's coming forth is from more than human wisdom, that it's not coming just from them. Um, one form of, I would call it automatic writing, but I, I don't know if other people would, I like it, but it's writing a love letter to yourself every day. And I've had some of my clients do this or write a love note to yourself every day, but you're imagining that it's not you writing it to yourself. It's love writing it to you, or even that it's God writing it to you. And this is kind of like a form of channeling where you would just get yourself out of your mind and place yourself in the shoes of God or love with a capital L and just ask, what do I need to hear today? What would love say to me today? And this is one of my favorite things to do as far as automatic writing, even though it sounds maybe like spooky or something like that. But to me, that's just a way that I like to practice it. Um, channeling. Um, so I know that we have some people here who are interested and in practicing channeling, like Stacey, she's starting to get really into it. Super cool. Um, so channeling is a form of mediumship where a person called a channel, again, enters into like a very trance or altered state of consciousness to allow more than human wisdom to communicate through them. And this might be like a spiritual entity, um, a deity or a, a group of people, um, or beings, we might say beings instead of people, um, speaking through them. So the channel, they might speak out loud, they might write, or they might even perform physical actions with their bodies under the influence of the spirit. So we have channeled sacred texts in most religions, including the Christian Bible, which we believe was channeled through the Holy Spirit. That's what I was taught growing up. And of course there's other channeled texts. And then, you know, there's also examples of like physical mediumship in the Bible where we would believe that someone was possessed by the Holy Spirit and did something, right? And so basically that's the same thing as like physical channeling. 